M0FXP, so here we are with the ICOM ID5100 and the OpenSpot 3. This is your interface page. So it works well, sounds great, and you can actually cross mode. If you click on the call sign, it will actually take you to QRZ. There you are, just clicked on it and we've gone to QRZ. Back on the open spot, if we click quick setup here on the bottom right, like so, we're on D star at the moment, a D star radio. So we click that, which is the ID5100. Then we want to go to say Brandmeister. We then click Brandmeister. It will load that up. Choose our server. So I use UK. Just here it says United Kingdom 2341. Then back to the main menu. Make sure we've got our password that's in Brandmeister. Looks like this. Make sure you've got your new your password here, the same as what's in your open spot. That's it. So select where you want to go by clicking the grey box here and then connect. Like so. And you'll hear that it will switch over now my ID5100. And we're now on Brandmeister Talk Group 91. Now we're also listening to my Kenwood D74. Uh, and that's using my Jumbo Hotspot. There you go, you've got N9 NJS. Inside here is just a Raspberry Pi 2. Sorry, 0, 2, version 2. Next to you on the screen. You can see I'm reflected 001. And we're going to have a quick look at the interface page, which is Pi Star. It looks like this. It's gone quiet now. And to change reflector, you can either use the radio, just hold it up at the top, and go reflector. And then you can choose a link to reflector. Then you can choose, or you can manually input it by pushing input here. And then you can choose. Back on the ID5100, you tap here it's touch screen so you can choose reflector like so in the same way and then you can choose link and it's the same principle now you can change make it change the open spot 3 but only for D star otherwise you use the interface page you're back here and you can just again just choose, I always use quick setup there is another way of doing it but this is the way it will be on this video and that's it and you can just flip between Stations coming through there. You can scroll back in the history. Go to your Pi Star if that's what you want to use. So it's great fun. And then another system I use is Blue DV. I'll show you that. I forgot to show you the Open Spot Three, which looks identical to the Open Spot. So Blue DV looks like this on this particular system. Now you can get a Blue DV stick as well. And they look like this, and they're very inexpensive, and they work well. But I'm using the one by Carl at DV Mega. They use the Blue DV system by PA7LIM. Pretty much looks like this, and I'll put all the links in the des description for what I'm talking about. So let's see what interface page we get with this. It's just a micro USB cable going into my PC. We've got a shortcut down here. So this is the window you get when you're using it, but you do need to set the parameters so you can hear it. So click um, menu here, then set. So we've set it on 434600, reflector 30, and we've told it to actually enable at start. Like so, I've got my call sign in there, and we need to choose the port that it's on by checking our device manager, by just right-clicking device manager, like so device manager and just let's see where it shows up move this out of the way double click ports and there it, oh that's not the one let's just double check right yeah make sure it's plugged into your pc and it's coming up at com 10 there serial ch340 there you go if we go back into settings menu setup and we'll just choose com 10 and then we'll save and it should automatically connect to 30 Charlie and we'll turn up the radio that's on that frequency. 
Right, we've chose the Icon 5100. Okay, and then we'll turn it on like that. It should connect, you should hear it connect now. There you go. That's connected in nicely. We're on that. And you will hear it on any other radio on that frequency with D star enabled. So there you are. You've got Pi Star, Blue DV, and the Open Spot system all going there. So that could be three radios, couldn't it? And I've even got my. Zello going here as well. This is the N60 network radio. So this is what I do every morning. Play around with all these different systems. Thanks for watching. Always tinkering. And uh, I may as well show you the other DV Mega Hotspot. The interesting thing is even when I've turned off the DV Mega Hotspot, the software keeps doing its thing. That's interesting, isn't it? You can't hear anything now, um, but you're getting the information. So here's the Genesis by DV Mega Carl, and that's on the FT300. So no one's talking at the moment, but you can see it's such a nice looking hotspot. Probably my favorite one. Just contact Carl at DV Mega. Um, well, he also makes this one. These are only the D, the, the blue DV one here, the Gen Blue, I think we call it. They're only about sixty pound, uh, but there's no screen. It works completely by the interface. This interface here. So lots of gadgets. I made that one there just with buying the parts. This is your classic hotspot, but they're they're good. They work very well. They're very small, but they're a bit boring, aren't they? <laughs> and then I've got my dual band hotspot again, made from bits. Really, it's got a Nextian screen on the front. Raspberry Pi 3 and an MMDVM hat, but it's a dual hat, so you have the two antennas and then I have to set, you have to set different frequencies for a dual hat and look, it's on now, I could call through and uh, see if someone comes through, but you can actually listen to two talk groups at the same time, let's just do one for now M0FXB, Mike Zero, Fox X-Ray, Bravo, calling for a contact yeah, you get that sort of feedback um, noise, but ignore that that's uh, too many gadgets going at the same time. Hey, for one, Gail, this is VK2FK. Um, yes, uh, oh, someone there. Uh, see you. Uh, but it's rather. The audio is rather low. The audio is rather low. I think there's something wrong with the network today. It has been playing up all day. It's been playing up all day. Hey, for one, Gail, VK2FK, over. There you go. It's uh, quite a bodge, but Raspberry Pi 3B, SD card with an image. If you need help with any of these, just give me a message. I'll help you. It's just about learning the systems. But look, all these gadgets going, but they all get used. I know there's so many, but I use every one of them every day. There's all my mics. And uh, I've got other equipment as well. 73, thanks for watching my channel. I hope you find it interesting. All the best. Bye for now. M0FXB, so yeah, take a look here. Got me a new number plate for my Land Rover, which is uh, M0FXB. Yes, it's actually M10FXB. Tell me what you think, but it's, uh, it's going to look cool. 7.3, all the best.